We're feeling a little nervous about being on Shark yeah. Tank. The final entrepreneurs to face the sharks are mother and daughter duo Tara Croker and Mel Davey. We organically created a product over many years of playing plant ladies together. <laughs> Yiridu Marung Sharks, I'm Tara and this is Mel. We're a mother and daughter team and we're the founders of Yala Sparkling. We're here today seeking $125,000 for a 10% stake in our company. Yala Sparkling is an Indigenous owned business that creates premium and healthy drinks sourced from Indigenous wild harvesters and local farmers. I'm a proud Wiradjuri woman, and in my language, Yala means the present moment. Ah. Our drinks are sugar-free and completely natural. Yala sparkling recipes have been 12 months in development and over 80,000 years in the making. Yeah, nice. <laughs> we've just soft launched our website and we've already sold over 700 bottles in just a few weeks. Nice. Sharks. This is more than just a drink. This is a journey through the flavours of our land and we'd love you to join us. Well, can we try some first? Yes, absolutely. It looks amazing. Yeah. Jane, What's, there you what go. What flavour should I try? So this Little one's bit. Lemon Myrtle and Native Blossom and then the pink one is Davidson Plum and Waratah. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you. Maybe green to go with the dress. Thanks, Tara. Oh, beautiful. Pink to match my eyes. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, Jean. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Robbo. Yeah. Oh, that's good. What does a bottle cost? So the bottle costs five dollars fifty. Oh, it tastes so good. Costs us to make a dollar seventy. What do you sell to distribution for? Per bottle is three dollars twenty. It's good. It's not too sweet at all. No. It's nice and subtle. And very dry and nice on the palate. So what makes it sweet? Uh, it's naturally sweet yeah. with that lemon metal you may taste. You haven't used like a stevia or a xylitol yeah. in this, right? So that's why it doesn't have that really shallow like spike of, of sweetness. Correct, yeah. So nothing artificial. It's all natural. It tastes great. Very nice. Thank you. Enjoy. I'm so glad to hear that. The sweetness is actually, com it comes from the leaf. Like, it's got that citrus flavour that you yeah. used to with a lemon or a lime, but um, it's, it's different. It's softer and sweeter from, from a native plant. You get the florally taste from the blossoms in both of them. There's drinks that are like this, like a tea that's not too sweet, that's quite popular, and there's nothing like this in Australia. I'd love to hear about how you guys started. So Mum and I have always been really passionate about plants um, and we just kind of organically, through playing around with plants and wanting to share those flavours, and we just kind of made loads of drinks just similar to this at home. Because you can put a lot of the ingredients just straight into hot water and it'll become a delicious tea. There's definitely nothing like that out there in the market, yeah. which is um, yeah, kind of mind-blowing considering we're in Australia and it's Australian <laughs> plants, right? I'm Kat, by the way. Um, I do a fair amount of plant medicine. And since that, have not been able to drink alcohol and now look for something that I can drink that's not kombucha, because that's yes. the only other one that's not like a super sweet one. So I think this is pretty impressive. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Tara and Mel. I'd like to hear a little bit about you guys. Can you give us a little bit of a, the backstory? My background is um, product development in IT and fashion accessories. I still currently work full-time for Google in marketing. And oh, you work for Google? Yeah. I'm the biggest security partner for Google in the world. Ah, well, you you know, that's already a partnership there. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been in marketing for the last 10 years and, yeah, I'm really passionate about everything related to marketing. So with your marketing background, how have you marketed this business so far? Yeah, good question. We have been focusing more on doing the manufacturing and production. Um, so um, we haven't really done um, any marketing yet. Really? 
So how do we know that this is going to sell without sales data? So we've just set up our Instagram page and also LinkedIn page. Um, and then... So what is the go-to-market strategy for this? We really want to position this as that premium, um, healthy alternative to alcohol, especially occasion drink. Launching to market, we're really looking at aligning our brand to higher-end hotels or higher-end restaurants, cafes, so that we can establish our brand in that position. And who's going to do that work? Do you have a team? It's just us in the business. Mum's full-time in the business. I assume at a certain point, Tara, you're going to transition into the business? That would be the idea, yeah, definitely the dream. What would you do with the 125000 What we need at the moment is product. Been holding back a little bit in terms of um, a sales date for the product being available because we need the production there to be able to service that. My concern is the hustle part. Someone's got to go out there, call in the cafes, get it out there. I think that's missing for me. Who's going to do that? Only for that reason, I'm out. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. I'm very impressed and delighted that we're seeing Indigenous run and owned business with Indigenous products, with Indigenous story coming to market. And I'm very interested in investing in this business. But what I'm going to look for is probably a partner with one of the sharks and there are three sitting with me <laughs> who are actually very, very good at taking product to market. Hmm. If you spend $100,000 on stock, I want to know if you're going to hustle and find these cafes and stores to sell it to. And with you working full time, I think that's part of it as well. Like, what, what's the plan there? <laughs> For as long as we need to, we'll be out there knocking on doors and we will make this work because this is our dream. Yeah. I'm struggling to see the, the D2C play. Without a doubt, the path that you're going down, I believe that is 100% the play for you, but I just can't add a lot of value in that. So for those reasons, I'm out. Think separate. Think separate. Every week I'm seeing these brands just go out of business, trying to raise more money. So the profit per bottle just doesn't work for that space. So for that reason, I'm out. Thanks, Davey. At a 1.25 million valuation, I just don't have the certainty of the business. I believe Indigenous businesses should be run by Indigenous people and I would want an arrangement whereby that investment could be paid back and you earn the equity back. And what value would you work that out at? I think the valuation is too high. So let's start with 125 between the two of us, 30%. Yes. Oof. But we'll we can come down with royalties. So after all this talk about it, it being kumbaya, okay. you guys are savages. But there's no... You just... We've sold 700 Royalties models. and 30%. <laughs> That's a sharky offer. Once we make our investment back, we'll come down to... 15% between the two of us. So 7.5% each? Yeah. Wow. I think 30% is a, a little too high, but do you consider dropping down to 20? I'll do it. Okay. Let's do it. Right. <laughs> you gotta do. They've done it. Tara and Mel have secured $125,000 for a 20% share of Yala, with not one, but two sharks. You've got good partners. And they could not be happier with their all-girl team. Ah! Oh, my God! <laughs> we are so excited to have them on board with us. <laughs> 
working with Kat and Jane is just a, a dream come true. Yeah.